All right, hey guys, now let's talk about color correction in OBS plus how to apply a LUT in this tutorial video. Really excited about it because if you've got multiple cameras like we do, we have eight cameras in our studio, you want to color match the multiple cameras. And obviously there's a heck of a lot that goes into it. We have videos on how to do color matching. Obviously you want all of your cameras set at the same resolution. You want them to be the same camera model if possible with the same lens if possible. And you want them set to the same iris and shutter speed if possible. So there's a lot that goes into this, but I wanna show you the basic color correction tools in OBS. Then how to apply a LUT, which if you get a good looking LUT that you like, you can apply it to each camera that you have and they'll all start to look even closer together from a color matching perspective. Now here we are, uh, you've seen this from our basic scene here. I've got camera one, right? Here's our camera. We're gonna right click it and we're gonna go to filters. And that is where we can apply basic color correction. Sorry, I gotta stick this off the screen because it always is too big. And slide it over. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hit the plus button on effects and I'm gonna go ahead and do color correction. Now this allows us to do some simple stuff and I'm gonna make it just a little bigger so we can see our video better. And you know, we can increase the gamma a little bit. Sometimes just a little bit of tweaking can do a lot. Like if that would be no contrast, that would be too much contrast, but just tweaking it because every camera is a little different. And if you apply the same settings, so I, look, even just a little contrast really makes the black a lot nicer. Uh, too bright, eh, it's okay. Some people have different tastes, a little more saturated, right? Saturation, let's leave that. I'm colorblind, so I'm not too much of a help here, but let's see. I can tell when things look crazy. All right, hue shift. Wow, look at that, crazy. So anyway, and then there's opacity. That's kind of cool. You could maybe do some fun artistic stuff with that. So that's your color corrections. Now we want to apply a LUT, a look up table. Now OBS comes with a couple free ones and here they are. There's the original. So that's what it looks like. And the cool thing is this amount here is how much it's adding to it. Just to show you what it does, let's do a uh, teals. See that? See how much difference that is. Makes it a lot more teal, right? Now I went on a website, a video mark, and he gave me a bunch of new um, LUTs that you can get on his website. These are a lot cooler and you can create your own but they've got like Broadway, like let's see what Broadway would look like. Look at that. You don't have to have it completely added, but that's kind of good looking, isn't it? It's kind of cool. So you can choose different LUTs and, and the amount that they will apply to your uh, video. So that is how you can color correct it. Now, if you go through each camera and of course, starting with the camera itself, don't start doing color correction until you've matched up your cameras and you've got the exposure of your camera set properly. I'll give you a quick little tip. We cover this in our course in more detail later, but when you're tuning your system, you want to apply to the 180 degree shutter speed rule. And what that says is whatever your frame rate is, your shutter speed should be double it. Okay. So I'm suggesting for most people to use 30 frames per second. So if you're using 30 frames per second for your stream, for your recording at your camera, then your shutter speed should roughly be one over 60, okay? A 60th of a second. Why? Because when you start to have a shutter speed that's too fast, things look too crisp and movements don't look natural. We want the, the video to look natural if it's a person on camera, right? So the 180 degree shutter speed rule will help you determine what camera settings you should have locked in manual, not auto, not changing depending on what the camera sees, especially if you have multiple cameras. So here's how you can do some basic color correction in OBS and consider um, tweaking and finding that artistic or good looking LUT that you like, and you can apply that to all your cameras and they'll start matching a lot better. Don't forget to like and share this video. We've got a whole great OBS tutorial course for you guys to take, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you guys soon.